Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we just got some new spy photos of the upcoming 2023 GMC Sierra Heavy Duty Trucks. These are photos that are sent to me, I purchased, and you guys get to enjoy them. Okay, let's take a look at these photos. We can see the camouflage covering the front of the A-pillar, so the hood area and the grill, and the back side of the bed. So this is typically showing off some changes here. This is really focusing on, looks like a mid-level trim with these silver wheels, but it's really hard to tell with the camouflage. A lot of times these engineers put whatever tire they have laying around. Uh, we still have those mirrors that create a lot of controversy. And we still have the antenna. Now this GM tells me that antenna does a much better job getting AM and FM signal than the uh, stubby or even on top of the roof antenna. It's a shark fin and so that's why they keep it. But as you can see, you know, the cab looks the same. Everything looks about the same in this first photo. And it looks like they're gonna have new headlights. So new headlights, new grill, headlight design, um, not seeing much else there. As we come around the back, you can see it, this is probably an X31, which is the AT4 package kind of trim, because we have the Rancho shocks back there. So you have the Rancho shocks, it's typically more of an off-road, and you can kind of see, it says you can see some skid plates, I can't really make them out in this photo, but it looks like to be more of an off-road truck. Uh, ride height looks a little bit taller too, maybe. It's hard, really hard to tell with these photos. But we have the same bumper setup, right? We're gonna keep that bumper for a long time, I think. And we, it looks like we have the same multi-pro tailgate. You can kind of see the fold mark right above the uh, license plate. As you can see, there's the taillights are, tail lights are visible, but you can't see the design. It usually like, tells you they're doing something different there. And uh, we have the fuel doors covered there as well. We'll come around this front a little bit closer so you can see these headlights. Looks like things are changing. Looks like that's projector kind of style headlight. And so I, that could be a different shape, different design. Could be the grill could be updated a little bit. And you know, what's interesting is whatever the 1500 does, the 3500 and 2500 tend to do as well. So um, looking at this grill changes, looks like it could be an entire lineup kind of change in that grill. It's typically what GM does. And we'll zoom in a little bit more on the back. Uh, one more time, we can see the Rancho light, like again, Rancho stands out, so the shocks stand out, but the tail lights look like they're gonna be different. Uh, the wheel wells are all the same, everything's the same there. And we can zoom in, get a bit, much better look at the Rancho. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight lugs. And these are MT2, Dyna, Dynapro MT2. So they're hand cooked tires. So again, definitely an off road truck. But kind of go back to the front one more time. You can see not a lot of changes coming. Mid cycle refresh for this. But when we look, look at the interior photos here in a second. Okay, when we look at these interior photos, we can see the changes for the 1500. And this will probably be reflected in the 2500 and the 3500. We can see the big screen there. Now this is kind of countering Ford. Ford has started using bigger screens in their heavy duty trucks as well, their super duties. They have a 12 inch screen. This is, looks like it's probably gonna be similar size. It's gonna be a, a much larger screen, easier to use, easier to navigate. In this case, we have that piano black keys along the bottom. This is consistent with what GM has done for a long time, right below the heating and cooling controls. And so those are those push buttons to like exhaust node or push buttons to, here's, for the uh, drop tailgate or for the plug in the back, you can press a button and turn that plug on and pl plug off. The other thing you'll notice in, this, in these photos as I kind of cycle through them is you're going to see the column shifter is gone in this one. Will the column shifter go away in heavy duties and three quarter tons? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. You know, there is some conversation right now that's been online, there's some speculation that the reason they can't use the column shifter is because of the eyesight situation with the Super Cruise, where the Super Cruise has to identify your eyes. And they people say that the column, or the con yeah, the column shifter gets in the way of that. So that's why they went to the console. Very interesting. Uh, could have paddle shifters. Paddle shifters are interesting. On a three quarter and one ton, they may make some sense. You can shift quickly and effortlessly by just pulling on the triggers of those. So if you're uh, going down a hill, you wanna downshift, or you wanna go up a hill, and you wanna shift around there as well, off-road, different situations really control the speed you're, or the transmission gear you're in, that may be pretty handy. Um, looking around, there's, looks like you can just maybe make it out on the screen as a Wi-Fi hotspot setup, but the little white box next to that looks like there's a search box, and that could be the new Google Android uh, search box for the software. There's some new software coming out that allows you to search right there, which is pretty handy for the passenger. I don't think the driver needs to be doing that. Um, coming around, you can see the console shifter, uh, you can see that set up, and then Everything else looks about the same. I don't see a whole lot of changes as we come through the interior photos. But again, this is something they could definitely put on the heavy duty. So this could be your new heavy duty interior as part of the mid-cycle refresh. The vents are still on the top. 
And then this is what the half time will look like. And so you can see the same similar ideas as three quarter time with the new grill and new headlights. It could be doing the same thing on both trucks. There you go. That's what I have for you right now. The, the, looking at 2022 for the GMC Sierra as far as the model year, looking at spring next year because semiconductor shortages and things like that going on. 2023 model will be out in 2022 year, so next year sometime. Looking at the probably the spring fall or actually summer fall for that, they'll probably do 1500 and they'll probably do three quarter ton later and one ton later in the year. So big changes happening at GM. You expect some similar changes happening at Chevy. So GM trucks getting a mid cycle refresh, which makes sense using the seven year lifespan. They get introduced mid cycle refresh and then outgoing model. So there you go. The information I have for you today on this. Check the video out of here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.